Hello and welcome to jQuery for Designers. My name is Remy Sharp and in this episode I wanted to revisit the infinite carousel. In particular there were a few uh, requests on the comments to make the carousel automatically uh, go to the next panel. So I'm going to show you how you can take the code that's already there and with a very small change give it that kind of auto scrolling feature. So let's have a look at the um, the demo. Here it is unmodified. I've got the code from the original uh, demo here. And what I want to do is for something to happen automatically we need to use timers. And we've already got the functionality to go back and forward. So what we're going to do is say on a timer go to the next panel. Go to the next panel. Go to the next panel. Now I do want to allow the user to be able to put their mouse over this area and the automatic uh, scrolling to stop so that they can actually interact with what's in, on there. So we need to say if the mouse has gone over pause the automatic scrolling and if the mouse comes out then unpause it and let it carry on. So the first thing I want to do is I wanted to use um, one of these functions the go to but I can't use the go to because I don't know what the next page will be. I can use the forward link so Instead of actually clicking the link, what I'm just going to do is create this new event called um, next. So I'm going to create a, a new custom event called next. And I'm literally going to copy this block of code so it goes forward one page. So every time I call um, this.next, so infinite carousel and trigger the, uh, the next event, it'll call this code here. So if I just quickly show you this with Firebug open. Let me just copy this. So let's go forward just so that we're on a kind of different panel. And I trigger next. Goes forward. Okay, pretty straightforward. So now that we've got our custom event in there, I'm going to um, say set interval so that means keep running this function for n number of milliseconds, so let's say 2 seconds, 2000 milliseconds. I'm going to do infinite carousel dot trigger next. So if I just show you this running now, if I leave it, it automatically scrolls for me. And it loops around. The problem is if I put my mouse over it and want to click on something, it scrolls past. So what I'm going to do is create a variable that just says auto scrolling equals true. And I'm going to say if auto scrolling is true, then go to the next. If it's not, it will just set a new, uh, it will just kind of loop around. And here I'm going to do mouse over. So if we mouse over the infinite carousel, auto scrolling equals false. And when we mouse out, Auto scrolling equals true. So let's give that a test. So it's automatically scrolling now. Put a mouse over these leaves. And it doesn't continue scrolling. I take the mouse out. And it should carry on. Oh, apparently I didn't take it out far enough. So that may be the size, ah, oh, there we go, there's the problem. The size of the element is too big. Um, so I set the height a little bit too tall on this somewhere. Um, so make sure you have the right height. So min height 10m, that's that's too big for this particular thing. Um, but that that's basically all you need. Uh, we've created a new bespoke event, and then we've just said on the on this timer for every two seconds, just run the bespoke event and moves it forward round and round. I'll put that code up with this uh, with this screencast as well. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you was uh, there were some queries about uh, IE7 working and the original infinite scroll, uh, infinite carousel. So I've recorded a quick screencast to show you IE7. Um, I do try and test all of the screencasts in IE. Uh, 6 and 7 and uh, Opera and Firefox and Safari and so on. Sometimes there's problems that I'll try and point out, sometimes problems that you guys will find for me, um, but I do try and address them. But this is um, this is IE running 
Um, so I've pasted in the, the live infinite carousel that everyone else can see and we saw before, clicking on the scroll button, scrolling around, and it loops around properly. And if I just scroll backwards as well, that also works. So I hope you can see this working. If there's any specific problems with IE, then let me know. Um, but otherwise, that's what I'm testing and I can see it working. So thanks for watching. If you've got any comments or feedback, drop a comment on the uh, jQueryForDesigners.com website. Thanks for watching.